Today, we're going to talk about difficult contents and ranking where they are on a scale from one to five, one being the least difficult and five being the most difficult. Now, for my honorable mentions, I have both of the fighting legend events, that being the Vegeta and the GT Goku event, as well as the fighting spirit of the Saiyans and the Pride of Wicked Bloodline event from the Worldwide Now celebration of 2022, as well as the eighth year anniversary battle. And I think that all four of these events could have been on here. But I feel as if though the events that we have are more worth talking about than these four. So let's go ahead and just hop straight into all the events that I'm going to be talking about today. That being Battle Road. Battle Road is obviously where it all started. If you're an OG player, you would obviously say that where it all started was the Broly Dokkan event. Or the Prime Battle Goku event where you had to only use Super Strike characters. But for many, Battle Road is actually where difficult content started. Next up, we have the Legendary Goku event. I think the Legendary Goku event was just crazy on release. And we're going to talk about why it was so goddamn crazy. And Extreme Super Battle Road, up next, you guys already know why Extreme Super Battle Road is literally just Battle Road, but on steroids. We have the God event, where I'm pretty sure they start limiting items because you're only allowed to use one support item down here. And up next, after the God event, everyone's favorite, the Red Zone, where we get the soft meta reset as well as Cell Max that comes afterwards, and then we get the birth of the Shadow Dragons, more specifically just Sin Shenron, because Sin Shenron is, in my opinion, the hardest boss in the game. So, let's go ahead and start out with Super Battle Road. How do we start with Super Battle Road, and where would I rank it on a scale of 1 to 5? I think that Battle Road could be a 5, for sure. Although, I'm going to speak strictly JP for a second, and probably for the rest of the video. <laughs> Super Battle Road came out with all, and guys, all of the 120% leaders were out before Battle Road was a thing. Let me just put that out there. And another thing is that Battle Road, you was able to use eight items. Let me just dish that out there. You had eight items with all of the 120% leaders out of that time. I think that... Outside of those two arguments, Battle Road was super goddamn tough, for sure. Because you had a team like Extreme Tech, for example, not being the craziest. You had a team like, I don't know, for example, Extreme Physical, not being the craziest. Or maybe like Super Int, or something else, and so on and so forth. Not being uh, the best of teams. And even through an item, you could still die. Yes, you had eight items, but even through those eight items, you can die. And on that double three key and a 120% of stats to that specific typing leader skill, you can still get completely blown out by some of these battle road characters. And even then, you will go up against like a fight that had multiple enemies and they can all super you in that one turn. Oh, best believe it. This Turlis squad and this Ginyu Force squad will super you. It's like, I've seen it happen before. I've been supered by each and every one of the Ginyu Force characters with an item up before and have died. So you can run into like weird, <clears throat> unlucky situations and get your back completely just destroyed. You can get just vaporized very, very easily. So I think Battle Road is a 5 out of 5 difficulty. For sure. Because even though you did technically have every single 120% leader out before this event even was thought of guess what <laughs> you can still die through an item it don't matter <laughs> you can technically still die through an item uh so let's move on over to the legendary goku man now, of course obviously if you double up on an item you wouldn't fucking die for for anyone who's wondering uh legendary goku man let's go ahead and run over to the legendary goku event i think that this <clears throat> hmm i think legendary goku event's probably five five two is that crazy to say? Because, hmm, if you really think about it, we get in Goku Black in November of 2018. He's obviously not really the craziest for this event. He can skate by. But we also get Tech Trunks on Golden Week of 2019, as well as Kalen Khalifa in April of 2019, right? I'm pretty sure that's how that order goes. And then we get AJLR Gohan as, of course, a top three, top five stacker for this event. Hmm. I think Legendary Goku Man's 5-5. I think it's 5-5. Five, five. 
because the Legend of Goku event, it feels like it made a lot of units not that great because they don't stack defense. This started the, if you don't stack, you suck agenda. So I think this is a 5-5 difficulty. Yep. This is probably the only event out by, I mean, outside of like Battle Road that gives me the, but yeah, no, we're not even going to include Battle Road in what I'm about to say. This is, this and the Red Zone are the only two events that give me the, like the hard struck agenda on a specific thing. Because for the Legend of Goku event, it's like, if you don't stack defense, you suck. That was the agenda that a lot of motherfuckers ran with. And for the red zone, it's like, if you aren't great defensively, if you don't have damage reduction, you don't have guard, if you don't have all these crazy defensive abilities, <laughs> then you just suck. Also, my camera is like, not focusing. Come on, camera, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> it'll it'll fix, it'll fix. But next up, we just have Extremes to a Bad Road. I think Legendary Goku event is not really much to say about this event. It's like... Actually, before I move on to, to exchange to a bad road, my camera fix. Why is like, come on now, what are you, what are you doing? Come on. <laughs> How to fix my camera? I don't know why that shit was just so out of focus. So as I was saying before, I was gonna move on over to the exchange to a bad road like grading thing. I have a little story about the legendary Goku event, real quick. Now I remember being in woodshop class with two of my friends. I'm not gonna name their names, but you guys know exactly who you are. We was chilling, right? And I remember opening up my phone and seeing the Legendary Goku event was out. I went to go try it. I got destroyed. Looked over at my friend's phone. He got obliterated. I had a bunch of friends, like, <laughs> and those motherfuckers were the ones that were saying, if he doesn't, if they don't stack, they suck. Which is why I pushed that thing that people were pushing the agenda that if you don't stack defense, you suck. So I think that both Battle Road as of right now, Battle Road is 5-5. Five, five. Legendary Goku event is 5-5-2 five, five, in terms of difficulty. Extreme Super Battle Road is up next. Extreme Super Battle Road. I'm going to say that this is 4 out of 5 difficulty. I'm going to double down. I don't think this is 5-5 five, five difficulty. Because we're in 2020 now. We have much more better options. We do have stunners. We do have sealers. We do have a good amount of options to keep all these Extreme Super Battle Road enemies at bay. But... Like the argument I said before, it's it just gets a little bit more, like, increased, right? Let me just go ahead and just, uh, let me cook real fast. So, the 120% leaders are getting easy A's. Correct. At the round of time that this event is going on, the 120% leaders are now getting their easy A's to make this event much more accessible and, and a tad bit more bearable to do. But do keep in mind... We do have some god leaders. For example, we do have the STR Omega, who is a attack debuffer by 40%, which completely just fodderized versus super physical. This was, in my opinion, we're super physical. No, it's, it's not super physical, right? Where, where the hell is it? It is right over here. Versus super physical. This is the easiest exchange to a battle row stage. It's like, it takes a one or maybe two options to make this shit just pity pat. And if you really think about it, I think that exchange to a battle road was among the times where like options released fucking quick. There was already options available for exchange to a battle road. So extreme to a battle road, I think it's four or five. No, don't get it twisted. You could still get completely clobbered with and without an item. Depending on the unit with an item, you could still die. But without an item, whew, you guys already know what happens. It's like, you mush. <laughs> but I think it's to battle with four to five difficulty because A, the 120% leader skills are getting their easy A's within the time that this event is going on, right? It's like this event releases and the 120% leaders are getting their easy A's or maybe just now getting their easy A's I didn't double check that before recording this video so please don't quote me on that you have that going on as well as you still having eight fucking items you still have eight items I'm just saying it's not like super battle road where this had just came out and this was this this shit was ridiculous on release so there's, there's a reason why this is five five difficulty okay 
And this is 5-5 five, five difficulty, obviously. But I think this is 4-5 difficulty. I don't have too much to say about it. Yeah. Although, category, Exchange to a Bad Road was... This shit was pretty tough. I might even act like it wasn't. This, this shit was pretty tough. But, yeah, this is 4-5 difficulty, in my opinion. Uh, God Event. God Event. I think God Event's probably 5-5 five, five difficulty, too. Although, you can argue... You can argue me that this is 4-5 difficulty because you had Tech Khalifa. You had... LR Master Roshi, who was an amazing, just an absolutely outstanding free-to-play LR, and we haven't gotten one since. It's like the seven years free-to-play free LR was completely doo-doo. The eight years free-to-play LR, of course, still completely shit. <laughs> Excuse me. But I want to give slack to the fifth year anniversary free-to-play LR. You know that. This is Amasu Goku. Because, hey, they were, that was... That was the first time they did, an L they did an LR EZA, okay? Give them some slack. So, God Event, I want to say it's 5-5. Five, five. I want to because you only had one item. This is where they started doing the only one item thing, if I remember correctly. I, please. Again, do not quote me on that. I'm not completely sure on that, but I'm pretty sure that, even though I just said I'm not completely sure, I'm just going to say that. This is probably the event where they started doing one item only. Okay, I'm just because I don't I don't want to spread misinformation, but also I think this, I'm pretty sure this is where they also started the three attempts a day bullshit. I hate that three attempts a day. It, it's just what? Okay, so you had one item, and I feel as if though you you essentially need it. This, the six year anniversary LR is to beat this shit. This shit was tough, man. This was really, really goddamn tough. I know there's people out there who beat the God event without the six year LRs, but on release, of course. But this shit was difficult, man. I'm, I'm just gonna say it outright. The God event was definitely pretty goddamn hard. Even though if you had Tech Khalifa or if you were running both the six year LRs, you could still die. It's, it still happened. So, I, uh, my, I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna, the reason why I want to say this is a 5-5 five, five difficulty is because you had one item. That one item shit was something. But the thing is, is that you can talk me into 4-5. This could be a 4-5 difficulty. I can see it. But I'm, I'm gonna say it's 5-5. Five, five. On release, this shit was so goddamn hard. For damn sure. Uh, so let's go ahead and move on over to Red Zone. Red Zone's 5-5. Five, five. Soft reset of the meta. This event made so many units useless. Yeah, I think two of the most impactful events in Dokkan is the Legendary Goku event and Red Zone. Easily. Battle Road, people just bitched about it and complained and cried that it was too hard. Exchange to a Battle Road, eh. People, people were just trying to find out how to beat it. That, that was really it. Like every other normal difficult content. Cell Max, people just bitched and cried about it. And then the Birth of the Shadow Dragons... People don't really talk much about this event unless you're like on JP. But going back on over to Red Zone, Red Zone is probably the most influential event in Dokkan. Probably, probably is because as we got the uh, as we got the new influx of players and they are exposed to the Red Zone, hey, they're hit with that agenda where hey, that if they don't do if they don't got good defensive ability, they suck. That's, it is what it is. That's why I say that for the Legendary Goku event. I think the Legendary Goku event and the Red Zone meta, what we're in right now, it ushered in the agenda of people only care about defense, which is not bad. Defense, it's like, I like defense. I like both defense and offense, to be honest. I'm both a defense offense guy, so I don't really give too much of a shit. But, hey, these do, two are definitely within each other. As I say that, of course, I love big attack stats and I love big defense, okay? I love both attack stat and defense, to be honest. Even though I would say that defense is Im more important on a card, I still like seeing big numbers, okay? Who doesn't? Who doesn't like seeing like a 50 million attack stat? Isn't that cool? All right, so 5-5 five, five difficulty. Uh, so what do we have so far? 5-5, five, 5-5, five, 4-5, five, five, uh, 5-5. Five, five. You can talk me into 4-5 for the God event because Tech Khalifa and all the cheesing shit that you can do. Although, one item is... One item is makes the event definitely much more harder, but I think the God event was 5-5. Five, five. Uh, Red Zone, 5-5. Five, five, that's pretty self-explanatory. And Cell Max. I think people just cried about this event. I don't think this event was too bad. 
this was a this was a, also a case where on the time of its release of course global players were crying i can understand why because they didn't have vegeta and trunks and shit but technically you guys did have tech god goku you have over seven years i mean let's keep it a 50 you guys did have options to beat this event with i beat this event first try with double gods and age of icon and, and hercule so i think it was completely bearable for global to do it with i did it on global and jp too so anyone can do it cell max is not too it's not too bad but I think the shit that was annoying with Cell Max is the double supering and the locking rotations. Because if he locked your rotation, you would burn use it. You, you burn the Sensu Bean. Locked your rotations, you are forced to use your Sensu Bean. Forced. Like, yeah. You didn't. It's like, if if you locked your rotation and it wasn't a character you wanted to sit in front of those attacks, you had to use a Sensu Bean, which is super annoying. So Cell Max, I don't even know. Is Cell Max 5-5? Five five? I think on release... No, I don't think Cell Max is 5-5. Five, five. I think he's 4-5. Because there, there's tactics. There's tactics to beat him. At the time of this event release, both the seven years cleared his ass. It, it is what it is. And then on JP, you have Vegeta and Trunks. <laughs> you have Vegeta Trunks, God Goku, blah, 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 so on and so forth. Yeah, I think Cell Max is 4-5 difficulty. I think people just cried about it. If you think Cell Max is 5-5 five, five difficulty, come on now. It's, if you say it's 5-5 five, five difficulty, you either haven't beaten it, or it's, it's like, I don't know what you see in the event that will make it 5-5, five, five, to be honest, because it's, it's, it's a bearable event, to be honest. No disrespect, obviously. So, let's go ahead and birth the Shadow Dragons. Now, although Nova and Ice Shenron could be annoying stages, I think Sin is the main focus. Sin Shenron is the hardest boss in the game. This guy... This guy is a pain in the ass. You don't use the eighth ears. This is a pain in the ass fight. He puts powerful Dokkan Fest to shame. He touches Yamcha inside this physical phase. He's done. Completely fizzling out. Of course, it's a physical unit, but, but Yamcha doesn't dodge. He gets completely folded. Path of Power Goku in this event couldn't get folded. That is saying a lot. Of course, Gamma 2 can get folded. Obviously, Gamma 1's not going to... It's not... It's not touching Gamma 1 because Gamma 1 is... He has 50% damage rush, like 500k defense. But if he touches Gamma 2, Gamma 2 is... Gamma 2 is a pack. He smoked. So some of the... Some of the, like, strongest Dokkan Fest in the game can get completely clobbered. Including EZAs too. So, this speaks volumes. He's clapping LRs and strong TURs. Yeah, this Sin Shenron is no fucking joke. He hits absurdly hard. And I think, just because of that... I think this event is... I want to say it's a 4-5 difficulty only because of Sin. Because Ice, you can whoop Ice's ass easily. I mean, Ice can definitely, it could, Ice could do some shit, right? I mean, he locks rotations. Locking rotations are so goddamn annoying. Uh, Ice is annoying. Nova could be annoying too because he hits hard. But outside of that, the rest of this shit is pretty fucking easy. So I think that is it. So we're going to go ahead and start from Battle Road. Battle Road is a 5-5 difficulty. You, you guys... Can, can understand why right because even through an item you can still fucking die and although you had all the 127 leader skills ready to go on jp i'm speaking strictly off for that because i checked to see if jp had all of them and they did uh you got folded that was just really it battle road is a 5-5 difficulty legendary goku event 5-5 i would say so i would say 5-5 because of the ushering of the agenda and defensive stackers i mean this this event made a lot of units useless let's just be honest it, it did uh exchange to battle road i think exchange to battle road's four five the god of it's five five but you could talk me into four five you, you really could uh red zone's five five no question about it uh cell max is four five you, there's tactics you can get it done don't worry and then you have birth of shadow dragons is, is four five so the only five fives i have on this list is is like the god event red zone legendary goku event and battle road other than that, I think that you're 4 5, you're 4 5, and you're 4 5. So I think that is really about it. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next video, and I love you all. You guys are the best. Peace.